Good evening. You're all gone quiet. You know, you don't know what to, to say without you know, Martin here. So he, he, he's had to go off to, to do his business and he's left the uh, lunatics in charge of the asylum. Left us free to do our own uh, topics for the evening. Pat in charge of chat. Ozzy in charge of um, being the difficult middle. Well, actually, you'd be yeah, the difficult middle child. Um, you know, me, the yeah. respectable elder child and Pat, the charming, slightly hairy younger child in charge of winding up the chat. Unfortunately, granddad Alan can't make it as he's gone for a, a long walk for coffee. So he may join us and we may have Gramps back in charge of looking after us. So a quick show tonight um, with the 12 hour marathon coming up at midday tomorrow to raise money for Alzheimer's. And what are the topics for tonight, boys? We've, we've had a mighty, mighty Welsh Dragons performance this morning. Uh, we've got the Erling injury, the Kev injury. Is it Are they real or are they just getting ready for that Arsenal game, which is looming up in, in just over a week? We've got Pakatar begging the FA to let him clear his name so that those charges can be gone. And we've got a whole series of stories um, in financial fair play again this week. Forest deducted points. Uh, you know, Everton still complaining about their deduction and another one coming we've got Leicester now probably going to be punished by both the Premier League and the um championship and trying to tell each of them that the other one's responsible so could the could we have a team get promoted and immediately starting on negative points and then um our own city fan Stefan on talk sport yesterday f flying off all the headlines about the fact that Chelsea are going to get deducted um many many more points than either Everton or Nottingham Forest or Leicester when that comes to a head next season um now it appears that some of their big sales like Mount were actually in last year's financial not this so boys what what do you have to uh chat about tonight what are your thoughts of the week gone by um I thought you missed one injury uh Edison Yes, true. We did discuss that quite a, at length um, on the last show we did, actually. But again, is that a fake? Is that a real injury or is he going to be back fully fit for Arsenal? Like I think most of us suspect. I think we concluded with that, you know, with the Edison injury, I think it was more a simple case of Ortega just puts any queries, any concerns we have to bed straight away. Because yeah, he's, I mean, he is easily one of the best number twos in the Premier League and probably gets into three quarters of the Premier League sides anyway as the number one keeper. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah any, no, any, I mean, any, any, that, any Zach Stefan uncertainties? You definitely don't get him with Ortega, that's for sure. Yeah. I, th I think we definitely yeah. have a, a view among, I think, quite a few City fans that, you know, Ortega might, might well edge and probably does edge Edison in, in pure goalkeeping saving terms. He's, he's just not quite the, cool calm offensive threat that that edison is he, he's just not you know he's liable to make a few more you know sloppy passes than edison will make but yep yeah, is that a real injury um or have we gone full fergie and we now get all our players um back fit with pretend injuries nowadays our oh, granddad's here are you dad granddad. We, we said, hi, Dad, Grandad. Yeah, we've got Dad's disappeared. Hi, Grandad. Again, granddad's on. <laughs> and then Grandad's, Grandad's funny friend from next door. Yep. Uncle Fester. Oh, have you got, hello, hello, have you got hello, your favourite blanket there, Pop? Oh, have you got your cocoa? Yep. <laughs> there you Come go. There's your cocoa. Yeah. Yeah. We've just we, we we've just had Martin telling us, Alan, how you've become all happy clappy. Uh, listen, I support the club in, in their in their tele, uh, tickets. I got my email this morning, uh, well last night. It's it's, it's got all. Well, I knew it would go because it never never d does not go up. But Martin does every single year as a whinge about it for at least a week. And so anyway, I, I think we yeah. Uh, for, from what I understand, we've had two hours of that already this morning, so we should yeah. send everyone to Andy's channel to watch the oh, deep, detailed yeah, analysis yeah. of ticket yeah. pricing. 
and we're sure. focusing on the uh, the mighty dragons performance against Finland and maybe oh, some city God. stuff tonight. And and <laughs> Matthias Nunez absolutely running rings around Sweden. Richard, well. while we're talking about while we're talking about the dragon, while we're talking about the Welsh dragon. Let's, let's talk about our rugby union side of yours. Finish bottom of the table. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's true uh, we went for youth we went for you youth know, do you know um, what Andy I, I, I rang him right when they came bottom I was ringing him and he wouldn't answer the phone for two or three times he just wouldn't answer the phone <laughs> to be fair to be, to be fair I, I, I have you on divert to Martin Allen so yeah, 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 yeah. you ring yeah. me I have it oh. diverted to Martin anyway so yeah, he can deal with you it you have you have debates every single day with Leo Turner about God knows what. That's you're doing that on a regular basis because I do get to see some of them. Oh, yeah, me. well, it's it's called caring the community. It's called caring <laughs> the community. So, so on to on to City because this is a city a city chat. Um, we're, we're kind of thinking as we build as we build up for Arsenal. We've had Erling walking out of training. We've had De Bruyne. How is it? What's he done early? I don't. We'll discuss that. We'll I, discuss that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So Pat, what has, okay. what has he done? He's, he's, he's okay. He, limp, he limped out of training, but uh, the Norwegian uh, physios and everything, they've said there's nothing up with him. Mm. It's hard for, I don't even, just, I haven't even yeah. looked at the footage of him limping, to be honest, because for me, Looking at any sort of any any sort of news stories that unless it's really something major like like Courtois injury for example I think that's a huge that's going to be huge for us but um, you know it's so hard for me to take I take everything that happens during international break with a pinch of salt because at the end of the day I just think media is looking for column inches yeah because they know because they know there's no proper matches no proper club matches on and it's hard for them to, to it's it's always going to be a slow news day especially as well. You know, at the end of the day, that they're going to be kind of taking it easy. You know, I think Norway don't expect to kind of do much of a challenge in the you know the Euros that are coming up. Are they actually out? If I remember, no, right they're, they're 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 out out. It's like uh, Sack has pulled out the England squad today. It's a friendly listen. Yeah, it's it's gamesmanship for me. You know, it's like you know, mm. does he really need to be there or no? I've got because. At the end of the day, Arsenal versus City is a more important game than England versus Flobber Dobland, you know, in, in a in a friendly match. Which yeah. I, I, yeah, yeah. I get, I get, I do get, I do get. And thankfully, uh, Belgium don't have their manager of many years because you know clearly City and Belgium have had a chat. KDB needs needs a rest, needs a couple of weeks off, yeah. and it's all fine. Roberto I Martinez was still the manager. A year ago, we'll find a way to make Kevin De Bruyne to play seventy five minutes. Oh, yeah, yeah, if not so ninety, he'd, he'd have been playing both games. We're not talking so about him; he just think, he just grinds my gears. Yeah, up, dude. yeah I think we've got a bit of a mature definitely. relationship there now. Yeah, he'd have, no. he'd have made he'd have made Ireland play seventy five minutes in the first half. Him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I think we'll see. I think we'll see. Yeah. Uh, very fit, sprightly Kevin De Bruyne for Arsenal. Um, so the big question is probably going back to, you know, what, what you said, Ozzy. Do are we going to see a fully fit Edison back for Arsenal? As I suspect, or do you think he's got a couple more weeks and we'll see Ortega starting? And, and does that actually worry anyone? Because I'm not sure it actually worries me too greatly. Um, I think I think you know, when you, I think you kind of hit the nail on the head earlier, really that. I think Ortega is just, I think, just slightly better than the shot stopper than Edison. Distribution, though, he's he's good, but Edison is the, the the absolute king when it comes to distribution. So he obviously take him not being there takes away something from from the rest of the the squad. Um, but it's such a big game, and you'd think. Do you really want to risk Edison when Ortega has performed well when he's come in? I would rather have Edison back when he's fully fit, fully ready, Agreed. rather than him coming in just because it makes sense on paper. Mm. Do you know what worries me a little bit though? Is we're we're all we're all comfortable with 
with Ortega in, in goal yet. Now, if I it, I'm 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 more than happy with Ortega in goal. Uh, yeah. So God forbid, Edison's not hundred percent and Pep plays him, and he makes a bit of a, a rick. It's just going to the pressure will be. Why didn't he play Ortega? You know when Ortega's fully fit. So I think he's on a hiding to nothing there, Pep. Yeah, I mean that's you, 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 need to, uh, you need to ease him back in, Edison. Yeah, you can't just expect him to come straight back in on pretty much could be the biggest game of our of our season when it comes to the yeah. league. So um, yeah, I just, what we you, what we can't have yeah is that De Bruyne at Burnley situation. We can't have someone being played who shouldn't be being played. He's just been patched together with some cortisone or whatever. If he if he does play, he has to be, you know, fully fit, ready, training, and no doubts. Because, yeah, the worst-case scenario is a 85% Edison is picked ahead of 100% Ortega. And then he might make a mistake because, ultimately, Edison's game is so based on you know, split yeah. second timing. I mean, he gives us all heart attacks by waiting till the, the last point three of a second before passing the ball. So it's the right time. And if you're 85%, that leg's just that little bit slower. You know, that could, that could be dangerous for us. Especially when, you know, we play so well playing out from the back that we do have that problem where and it's been highlighted in the last couple of games where, you know, you look at the, the whole, you know, um, Ake situation where he passed the ball back and it, it just ended up in the back of the net because it was our own sloppy mistake, you know. Yeah. And that's normally where we come undone. So I just feel that in this game, I think you've got to have a goalkeeper that is 100% ready, 100% focused. Um, and I just feel that Ortega probably is the man for this match if Edison yeah. isn't 100%. It's just not worth yeah, it. If I started a cup yeah. final against Manchester United, I th- I'm, I'm more than happy for him to start against Arsenal. And I think, uh, you know, years gone yeah, by, more than you happy. know, we've not had a decent backup keeper, let's be honest. It, it's, it's, we've always kind of like, if, if Edison goes down, we've kind of gone, oh God, you know, but for a change now, I think over the last few, over the last two seasons, Ortega's come in and, I don't think he's really put a foot wrong. That's not really true, though, is it, Ozzy? Because uh, Martin used to love Big Willie. Uh, bye, 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 bye. Thank you for coming with you. <laughs> you are a legend. Thank you so, so. Let's go on that. Let's go on to that. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Alan. <laughs> and, and Andy. And Andy's never got over the, when <laughs> Snuckling left, have you? Well, it, he loved. He liked a bit of Perry and a bit of suckling, didn't you? I can't Edison, Perry, and Perry have to play that against Arsenal. Yeah, but you're yeah, you heard it here first. I'll play. No, no, whatever, go. whatever happens to Edison, regardless, he's gonna when he when he does come back and he's going straight into every three days anyway. Yeah, it doesn't Listen, matter. Edison had a 12 inch bullet wound in his damn thigh the last time he was injured. He was said, still back. He said like, bullet wound. <laughs> it, the, 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 the guy will be back. And yeah, it's probably yeah. unfair with Ortega, but there's a reason Ortega is probably going to be leaving at the end of the season. Because yeah, he wants it's, it's he deserves to be playing number one. And yeah, he, he, deserves to, he deserves to be playing number one, doesn't he? Yeah. Well, what's Edison done wrong? No, no, I'm not saying that. No, no, we're not saying that. He deserves to you play. You just said somewhere. he deserves to be played. What? Oh, do you mean generally, or do you mean No, I mean, yeah. like, I said it's at the generally. top of the show, I said he, he can be number one in about three quarters of the Premier League teams. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Been better than any Absolutely, yeah. You know, I, think, I think, you know, I think ultimately we're, we'll play games this season, and, and we have already where players who deserve to be in the team, number one, don't play. I mean, look at the centre backs, you know. A, some weeks a kanji doesn't play, and there's no way a kanji doesn't deserve to be playing every week. But some weeks, you know, I, I would have picked Diaz and Stones and, and Walker up at Liverpool. But you know, I think I think when you've got enough really good players, we're always going to have um, yeah. we're always going to have players who deserve to play. You know, deserve yeah. to be in a starting spot, but can't because we've got so many good players. Yep, correct. 
And the unfortunate thing with the goalkeeper is it's it's an all or nothing. I mean, with centre backs, you can play two thirds, three quarters. You're more likely to have injuries. You cover multiple players. But unfortunately, with keepers, you know, you can have really good keepers and they don't play one game of 38. And, yeah, and you know, that's, Harland's it's, uh, good, it's fine. Highland's fine. Listen, I, I knew this had happened. It's international breaks and everyone's now starting to try to get out. So Saka's done it today. So Saka suddenly jumped out the England team. Martin, I, I, I believe I could play in goal because my missus says I'm a keeper. <laughs> no. Yeah, keep, 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 was, keep you in the bed. Keep you in the bed. wants you to keep your gloves on. Yeah. yeah, she said, I'll keep you locked in the basement, is what she said. I I what I was was she talked about keeping your hair on, but that, that went... Anyway, um, Erling Haaland, yeah, Erling Haaland. <coughs> I, personally, I think we'll have a fully fit squad for Arsenal. Um, there's a reason why Saka's jumped out the England squad now with a so-called, whatever it is, slight concern, pull, whatever... It's for anyone who's come up with these internationals at this yeah. time of the season, he's mad off yeah. the rock and mad to put these internationals in at this stage. Oh. 10 games after the season, the most important part. Let's have an international break. But Martin, it could be Gareth, Gareth Southgate's uh, farewell England tour because he looks like he's been touted for United. It's not April. Well, I'll tell you what, if he went there, I don't think I would laugh my head off. He is garbage. It was interesting. I was listening to um, a couple of interviews on that last night saying it's actually not as garbage as people think that Southgate is very close friends with Dave Brailsford. Yep. Very close friends and has been for about 15 years. Um, and because of Brailsford, he, he's actually quite close to Ratcliffe. So both Ratcliffe and Brailsford and Dan Ashworth as well has worked extensively with Southgate. So... There is a thing that the three key people in the decision are all very close and trust him a lot. So I think United fans might be getting a little worried because I think there's It'd be so there's funny. Not, it's It'd not be as impossible funny. as people think because they're not going to get the three great managers in Ancelotti, Klopp and Pep. So, you know, they, they have to get a, a flawed manager and... It would. How funny would it be? Especially if they signed Calvin Phillips for us. I'd let them have him. Have him on a free. That I tell you what. As long as, that, as, long as Southgate promised to pay him thirty-eight games. If, and, uh, if, you know, if Southgate goes field. there, Rich. If Southgate goes there, mate, I would put that above the Aguero goal against QPR. <laughs> <laughs> I really would. Yeah, you'd have Is to. Is that your main over. call then, Alan? I do. Was you doing a mating call then? What do you mean? No. That, that exactly. noise that just come out your mouth. <laughs> and you wonder why we get subscribers. Um. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. It's only your mating call people want to hear, Pat. Stroke that beard, Pat. No, I, 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 I just I think you get yeah, yeah. it. <laughs> Remember <laughs> rightly, Ozzy, he's, he's the only one to have uh, have a random in his bedroom when he's doing his stream, uh, talking to him whilst he's in bed. Am I right or wrong? I must have missed that show. Your research is a little bit flawed. Excuse I think me. you dreamt that at some point. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, no, more no. than likely. Should, yeah. should we get back to the football? Or whatever makes you sleep. Anyway, um, no, I, I just think it's international break, and I think people are just trying to fill column inches at the moment. Uh, there, there's no way. Listen, Omar Barad is a lot of things. He's not thick. There's no way. I understand Radcliffe with, as his friends. But what's the point in putting Omar into that job and then but, just call him over his head? Omar's not necessarily. Omar's not massively running the football side of things. Dan not making direct whatever um, it is then. Yeah, I mean it's CEO. like you know. Yeah, no, but Ferran the thing is, Cal runs the club, but he doesn't have. There. It's Soriano and Cheeky that run it mainly. Yeah, but Cheeky runs the football. You know, in terms of buying players, managing all that, Cheeky does all that. Ferran's quite stepped away from that, so. You know, I mean, obviously he'll be there for the big decisions, but 
Um, I don't know. And 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 honestly, if you think about it, there's not going to be a, you know, Barada's not going to come in and overrule Brailsford, Ashworth and Ratcliffe if they want to do something. No. Nope. You know, it's going to be Ratcliffe's call. Like ultimately, if the Sheikh wants something, it happens. Khaldun's not going to overrule the Sheikh. Soriano's not going to overrule Khaldun. It'll happen. It's just they trust who's running it. So I, I think it'll be interesting. I, I'm just, maybe it's just us being overly hopeful because, you know, rationally it seems impossible. He's a manager in, in club football, has just relegated Middlesbrough and done nothing. And most of us think underperforming for England. But, you know, clearly there are some people high up in United who feel different. I mean, they're a basket case, let's be honest. Yeah, there has been a lot of FFP this week. Leicester are now the latest club who've been charged. Um, by both leagues, you know. I tell you what, I'm sick of these clubs. These cheap clubs. When is City going to resign from the English Premier League? That's what I want to know. We'll go into a different club. Join the Super League, that's what he's Super going League, to Alan. There he is. Super League, Alan. There you go. Bloody it's all he wants. Uh, <laughs> are we uh, supposed to be... Serious question to everyone. How are we supposed... Our, our city is supposed to compete with all these... Against all these cheating clubs? Yeah, I just don't know. You just can't no just idea. Know. And yeah. they, you make a fair point, mate. And yeah. If only we had the... That thing is, yeah. That, I mean... You know, something's got to change because by all accounts, United can't spend this summer because they're looking at firing staff who work for the club because they, and they're worried about sacking Ten Hag because they can't afford the um, the severance pay because it's about 15 million if him and his coaches uh, got rid of. So maybe one of the reasons they want Southgate is there'll be no compensation because if they go for De Zerbi or someone, they're going to have to pay. 20 million you know that they maybe don't have so maybe southgate is because he's free um which would make it even funnier My well, the, 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 weird, the weird thing is you've had leicester who've been charged apparently leeds are going to be next we've had the forest incident the Everton incident apparently newcastle and villa are borderline at the moment um staff van boston was saying it's, chelsea are gone so chelsea, is, chelsea i don't even know yeah. where you're going to be because they are not going to be able to sort anything out by June the 30th. There's no chance. Can I ask a question? Any, any club can. This is what it is. Can I ask a question? Mainly to Richie, because he probably know more about this. Than me. If the clubs of the Premier League, right, were to turn around and put a vote of no confidence in the board of the Premier League, they would only need 11 votes to get rid of them, to sack them. Is it, is it 11 or is it 14? No, it's 11, 14. 11. To get rid of them. It why, would, why, why, would, why would not, why wouldn't the clubs of the Premier League get together and say, well, vote with no confidence in the people that are running the league, i.e. face a fucking masters, yeah, and, and, vote, and vote them out? Because, because, because a number of the clubs wanted masters and he's there. They won't now. They won't now. They won't no, now. Some of them. I, I I would wager that Liverpool, United, Arsenal, and things who you know ultimately yeah, they, 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 they might be quite happy. The league, yeah. There's there's a lot of clubs like Brighton and Brentford who are quite supportive of fair play because the way they run their clubs, in a, you know with Moneyball in a very professional way, it suits them that clubs like Nottingham Forest and Brighton get punished. There's clubs like Luton who are you know brass. Brass knuckle, they don't want to change anything. They just want the money and, and hope they can stay up. So it's not necessarily that clear. And the problem is, if you get rid of Masters, the chaos of trying to get the next board in or finding someone could make everything 100 times worse. So they're not going to want to make a change until they've got, you know, agreement on who would come in to fix the problems. Um, the problem is, right? So, so it is, it's, yeah, it's, it's, not an easy one. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, though, Rich, is that you mentioned Brighton, but you only think like a few years ago, Leicester, we were, you were talking about Leicester in the same breath 
you know, they were a really Less, well run. Yeah, but not they, financially. They, not financially. Well, no, Leicester finan always, Leicester always, they spent much, much bigger and sold less than Brighton. So Brighton's total investment from Tony Bloom's about, it's about four or 500 million, but over 23 years, getting them from the lowest, the lowest of the low, sharing a ground, building a stadium and turning a team into a top half Premier League team. Leicester, you, Europe. Spent, Leicester spent more, borrowed more, ran up more debt. They've made losses of 100 million in a few seasons. And even last year, the, the year they're in trouble for now, they lost 95 yeah. million. So it's a different, is, Rich. a different league. Yeah, I know. But what I mean is, is I think before their owner sadly, you know, passed. Yeah. I think they probably, I think they were well run in that respect. Because I think you obviously now not so much. But yeah. for me, I think it, the Premier League were obviously worried about the UK government coming in and making, you know, sanctions on the Premier League because of, of the spending and the way it looked. And, and I think now it, it just seems that it's become this massive witch hunt. Um, the Premier League have just it spiraled a bit out of control because it's a witch hunt you, at, it, at the it, moment. It, it's a witch hunt. The problem is, is that it, I, I think it's some of it is out of their control. That they've, they've lost control of of, of, of this process, um, and I think well, it's, it's really once you act once, you have yeah. to act consistently, and that's I mean, the trouble. I mean, I, once they the hit problem, Everton, they've got yeah. It's, Are you going to yeah, get, it's going to get worse if if the Premier League doesn't stop what they're doing, because no, it's, I agree. it's only going to it's only going to affect the league in the worst yeah. way. Is it but more than no, no, that the Premier League? It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. It's about mate. It's, it's been run. It's been run like an absolute joke. And I'm sorry, but Richard Masters has got to take responsibility for that. Here he goes. Proving it. It's a joke. It's embarrassing. So, so, so hang on, hang on, right? Let, let, let's get this back to perspective. These rules have not just walked in in the last year. Nope. All right. These rules have been here for many, many years. Yep. All right. I understand. I think where, where people are getting confused is, is that, oh, I understand this thing of witch hunt and everything else. Is the Premier League have now decided they're going to start showing a little bit of teeth on certain things. And we all said at the time, once City got charged with these 115 charges, that, and remember what Caldoun said? Let's go all the way back to Caldoun's interview. All right, man. What did he say? People in glass houses should not be throwing stones around. And his exact words were, be careful what you all want to do here. Yep. I will do my talking after we're done. Yeah. Did Caldoun not see this coming down the road? So why did oh. nobody else? This is why I don't do this sympathy vote bollocks. I'm not doing it because no one's got sympathy for us. So why am I sat there? Because trust me, I go on countless shows and get 115 cheating bastards every single which way I go. Everton spent 550 million quid it is all in the documentation to finish third to finish six. They finished seventeenth or whatever it was. Nottingham Forest again in their case gambled. They even said we gambled to finish a lot higher than what we intended to do. Forty three players, failed. I think it was man. Forty three yeah. players they yeah, signed. It failed. Yeah. Don't then come to me with well, a sympathy argument. Did it? I'll do in some set. ways, don't throw yeah. stones, sunshine. <laughs> Because you're going to get this right back at you. So why do you know get the violin? Martin, Martin. Start feeling sorry for him. I don't think Forrest failed. Uh, Forrest stayed up. Yes, they did, Alan. They, 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 they failed by right, 35 which, million. Well, uh, it's in the book. They failed FFP, but they didn't fail. Their aim was to stay up. You go into the Premier no, League with nine players. Go up. No, no, Martin, I'm forgetting FFP. It's uh, You know, I think it's well, a, should come out from their own of, chief executive. It's a corrupt load of nonsense. You get promoted, your one objective is to stay up, and you should be able to spend what you want to stay up because all that matters if you go up from the I championship you, you, is you coming 17th. So, and then you, when clubs go box, you'll go, Oh, we've allowed these clubs to go well, box. Well, we, allowed that? we may as well, we may as well stop playing the games if it's not 
a free-for-all because if it's not either completely equal for everyone or a free-for-all, you are basically loading the dice before you start and, and you are basically sitting there where you can name the league places at the start of the season, which is what has happened in most of Europe. Football's pretty much dead in most European countries. You know who the top three are before the season. You know who the top one is before the season, and it never changes. And what is the point of football? I mean, maybe Bayern don't win the Bundesliga this year, but we will have leagues like France and Germany where you've had people winning the league 10 years on the trot, and that is just... Yeah. It's stupid. So you either rich, say everyone rich, like US sport, it, no rich. That's the same. Not this. Not having this in twenty twenty four when it was the same in nineteen ninety two. Can't hear Martin now. Classic. Good. I, I'm, I'm quite glad. In nineteen ninety two, United won the league eight times out of eleven. Was it yeah. not a? Was it not a league then? Spot on, Martin. Stop giving me this. Oh, it's anti-competitive crap. It was anti-competitive. Turkey's voting for no, Christmas. No, what did you no, what no, did you no, say no, in that, mate? No, take away, take away all non-American ownership how, Premier League winners. Who wins the league? How can you how can you play a fair sport in a league? It's never been fair, team, Rich. I'm not I'm not saying it has, but where one team at, in the rules of the game can spend 500 mi mi million on wages and another team can spend 130. It's like me saying, oh, we're going to have Grand Prix races and Alan's got to drive a Robin Reliant and mm -hmm. I'm driving a Ferrari. Andy's driving a souped up Ford Mustang and Martin's on a pedal bike. I mean, it's it's not. Fair. Okay, I might crash. I'm going, Rich. And Andy Rich, might I crash. agree with you in that uh, part. Right, it's not fair. My next door neighbour's got a Bugatti Veyron. I've got a Volkswagen Polo. Tough titties. Get a better job. Sorry, Rich. That's live. You've got a yeah, pool but, next to you. But you're not. But you're, what you're not doing is it's not about getting a better job. You're okay. saying even – no, no. You're saying even if he does get a better job, he's not allowed to actually spend the money – because he hasn't earned the money in the years well, before. Rich. And what therefore, there's no, no, no point rich. getting a better no. job because you can't spend. No. Rich, no. Right, this is the point I'm making. Pat, go on, on, Rich, go on. So, can you imagine yeah. tomorrow? Just leave these two on for 12 hours. But listen. It would be no, one no, hell of a show. I don't rich. know if I want to we see Rich Rant at 3 a.m. Yeah. I don't, I don't think, do I don't think it's healthy for anyone. Yeah. No. I reckon we give feed, up. Feed, feed you gremlin at midnight. Sunday morning. Sunday morning. We'll give Martin a lot of caffeine and I'll take a like, quadruple shot of espresso. No, right, let me have a shower. Now a charity, charity, uh, like those two old Muppets, you know, stab them in Waldorf. You know? And then, and then, <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to bring you in here. Right. Listen. <laughs> Can I we have Rich ranting again? Can we have Rich ranting about it? There will be one at some point Saturday, but Alan, don't worry. Can someone shut the point. parrot in the corner, don't oh, all. Please. Say that, say that again, Mike. You broke up then. Right. I understand what you... Come on, pretty Polly. Right. No, that, that's Alan down there who suddenly become happy clapping for the club. Right. Listen. Just for the record... I'll be the, the, the one in brown. Martin yeah. can be the one in grey. Yeah. You know what? I'll make this even easier. Right. Okay. <laughs> right? I'm kind of offended. <laughs> well, I've left you, 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 you in. Right. Oh, great. great. I understand their point of, yes, it's not fair. I understand it isn't. I forgot the question now. But all these clubs signed up to all these rules. Yes. Ten years ago. Yes. It is, and this is the point. This is where my sympathy goes out the window a little bit. You all signed up to the rules. You can't sign up to the rules, gamble to beat the rules, fail the rules, get punished, and then complain about the rules you all agreed to. Because this is where, Andy, I think people forget the Premier League is a members club Yep, that they vote on, owned by the clubs. At the end of the day, it's yeah. tough titty. You voted against us, and just because you came into money after you'd done the voting, that's just karma. Simple. So do you, think, do you think that a team like Leicester City, who weren't in the Premier League when they made the rules, should be 
because not all the teams Panish were in the Premier League. At Forest and Leicester weren't when these rules were agreed. So should they be exempt from it? Because they had no choice. They were in the Rick, championship Leicester and City they were they went in. in. Leicester City have done exactly what they did five years ago and failed FFP again. Well, good on them. I mean, Richard, good, on them. good on them. Good on them. Yeah. Not that, sure. There's not good one on of their fans who would swap what they went through in winning the Rich league. Rich wants Reading FC everywhere. Everything. Rich wants Reading yeah. FC everywhere. No, listen, no, I think, I think no. Richard's got a great point, to be fair. You know, if a club who wasn't in the Premier League to sign up for these rules or anything like that, if all of a sudden they get punished when they're in the Premier League when mm -hmm. it shouldn't have been like that, that's some that that is unfair. But they had no influence. Ipswich is a prime <laughs> candidate for that. Yeah, you know, a team, a club that hasn't I, been in the Premier League since FFP came into existence, just, and just, now they're going to be honestly, they could possibly honestly, be victim to it. Honestly, ask you a question. I know, I know, Alan's answer will be the opposite to mine. But let's say <laughs> at this Premier League, and um, they did they do punish City. And they do then say, mm -hmm. right, we're going to punish City for 12 to 18. We're going to take away the Centurion season. We're going to take away the 2012 title. We're going to take away 14. Would that change how much you enjoyed those moments? Would you swap it? Would you go back and say, no, nah, we'll not spend the money and we'll be mid table? No, you wouldn't. You want to win. That's what football is about, winning. Rich, I understand that, but no, hang on a minute, Rich. You're doing Alan's thinking here of give everyone a bleeding treble. Give everyone a treble and let's all go in our little merry way. What's so? What? What you? You Which know you give everyone are, a treble. You know, We're the ones listen, for the treble, and I know this. No one else is. No, Rich. You are like some of these schools and educational people. I'm listen. I'm not slagging off because I work in the industry. You're you're the person who has a who has a hundred meter race on sports day and gives everyone a medal for competing in it. No, 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 no. 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 This, yeah, third, Martin, got Martin, a medal Martin, that is a brilliant, no, no, that is a brilliant analogy, and this is where you are actually wrong. I'm saying everyone runs that race in the same train as the same gear, and whoever wins, wins. You're saying if someone, someone should have a rucksack on their back, go, someone should have their legs tied together, because... The whole point of the Premier League rules is not everyone does have a chance to run that 100 meter race fairly. Hang on a minute. Everyone whoa, starts whoa, whoa, with whoa. a different amount whoa, they can whoa, wear. Whoa. And if you I'm have not... to wear Doc Martens and, you know, I'll see if his legs tied together and Alan, Alan has to have a blindfold on yeah, and I have yeah. to have my arms tied behind my back, then Andy's going to win. Not Richard. because he's the fastest, Richard. but because we've Richard. all been handicapped. You need you need to make your mind up. Is it 100 metres or three-legged race? Because you keep saying legs tied together. Ooh. So let's, let's, let's just go, Rich. Yeah. No, let's let's get a sack as well, shall we, Andy? Because I don't want to bring in Pat and Oz eggs. I know I was part of you. And an egg and spoon. Don't Alan's forget the egg and spoon. Alan still hasn't oh, figured out that. yet that the Premier League is owned by the clubs and not Richard Masters. But coming back to the point, Rich, I spoke right. to New Premier League, League sold by Man United, Arsenal, and Liverpool. Fuck. <laughs> and, 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 and Masters is their puppet. End of. As, and and there goes Alan Swan diving into the bar fight. Right. <laughs> Alan, there's a puppy Rich, too. I spoke to some Newcastle fans and I said to them, if you were where City were, would you be saying everything you're saying? What do you think their response was, Rich? No old man <laughs> without the Jarby accent. <laughs> well, it depends whether they're hypocrites or whether they're Rich, every opinion. football fans are hypocrites. Hypocrite. Now, if they're hypocrites, they'd say I'd be fine with the rules if they suited us and screwed everyone else. If they're yeah, fair to it, they'd what say they said the rules. A lot of them. Yeah. Do you think they yeah, care uh, about little loot in town down that I know this was well, should they should. little loot in they town? Should. Oh no, no, no. Should. They should care. Luton Town, you oh, know, you should say, either have it, two it ways. To come by yeah, in a minute. You either, you either, you either, do your, you either have a salary cap that's the same for everyone and everyone has okay, exactly Rich. the same. All right, Rich, or you have I don't want to do all. this. I've never wanted to do this. Let's take your job. Yep. I won't announce what it is. Yep. Right? Why are you paying? This isn't going to work, you know. No, no, it is, Rich, because you're living on yep. a moral high ground, but don't realise yep. what you're saying is a little bit hypocritical. 
It's not. Yeah, I'm saying it is. In my job, in my job, no one is handicapped going for it. There's no one who comes in and gets told, oh, oh, you, can, do you can't that. use. No, no. No, no, what you're actually you're saying. Your industry, the major no, no, captain, you know no, they are. No, no, it is basically, game. it is pure <laughs> capitalism. Okay, the person surprising. goes for a job, and if they're the best qualified, they'll get the job. And that's true with most people's jobs, you know. But, like, if I want to be a mechanic, I have to be qualified. I have to be qualified in the type of car. I have to have all the expertise, and I get the job. What you're saying, and what financial fair play is saying, is... We've got five people. One of them got earned more in their last job. They're allowed to show all their experience. But these two people, well, they haven't got the history of this guy. So we're going to say you can't count your last two jobs on your CV. That's illegal. Or, you know, it's just, it's handicapping. Either it's fair, it has to be fair for everyone. Okay, then, Rick, in some, jobs, or, or in some jobs, like, for example, some people have got degrees. Other people have already done apprenticeships. Do you How know, come the yeah. hang on, Rich? No, hang on. Stop now. Stop now. Listen, time because you know where I'm going. How come someone with a degree has a better chance of the job of someone who hasn't got a degree? But having his having history in football is not like a degree. Everyone who is well, the the work has a break. Yeah, but that's not years. the point. That is a handicap on merit, not a handicap on history. You are saying that a competition of sport, which has to be equal, some people Name start with four times equal, as much. Name me a sport everything's equal on. Tennis. Tennis. Golf. Don't everything. Don't they're all, they're all equal. It's not. No one, no, no one gets uh, handicapped. I don't think history is going to be an hour. Like, no one gets six hours away from it's the time. Golf. golf is. They're playing yeah. the same course. Take golf, take golf, right? What fair play is and what you want is to say this person gets 14 now. clubs, <clears throat> this person gets 14 clubs, this person gets 10 clubs, this person gets eight clubs, and this Luton Town golfer is only allowed to use three clubs because he wasn't as good two seasons Rich, ago. So Rich, okay. he can have three do clubs. Some, right, He's got golfers. lots of money. He can right, afford okay. 14 clubs, but he Rich. can't use them. Let's take a starter golfer who hasn't got the best clubs in the world because no one's going to sponsor him like that and give him the best yeah. clubs in the world. A starter golfer we... is allowed to spend their own money and spend their own time training up to become as good as they want. Well, no one's can... saying you're a starter golfer. No, no, no Rich. You only do an hour a week and you can't up. spend money. You won't shut up. You won't let me speak. Today. You won't let me speak. So... Because you're missing the point. No, You're I'm missing the point. You are talking about situations where everyone's Big equal. I'm trying world. to say that's fair. Can't speak. Well, I'm it just saves me the time of correcting at the end. No, Rich. Tiger Woods got. Oh, mine's froze. He can't speak. He's going to say God. Tiger Woods was good and we got money. But was Tiger Woods handicapped by Ross looking him doing look stuff <laughs> through, his, through his career? No. He was allowed to play as much golf and spend as much money as he wanted to get to where Rich, he got. Look what you've done to him. Yeah, Frank. <laughs> now that that was that was Medusa. <laughs> what do you mean through. the cost is closed? <laughs> <laughs> right, go on. Right. What do you mean a wrong? Right, I, on, think he's, I think he's nodding. Right, come on. I'll, 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 let's change, I'll the, let's change the topic it. and get back to something really sensible. Right, let's all do a Martin. <laughs> so, what does everyone think their 11 is going to be for Arsenal? What do you think? Do you think he'll bring Grealish back? Uh, no, he'll start him on the bench, mate. And who'll play that docu, do you think, in that last role? Or No, I, I think he'll go for more solidity. Yeah. Well, Kovacic. Yeah. Kovacic will be on the, on the field. Yeah. <laughs> I saw him throw his eyes. He was taking the mic. Ideally, he'd, he'd have Aki left back. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if he puts Nunes on the left. Because it's it's time to just start trying to get that a, a regular 
starting eleven now, like we did back end of last season. Yeah. But do you think maybe it'll be Kovacic and it'll be Bernardo and Faden wide and Kovacic, De Bruyne and I think Kovacic. Is, I think Kovacic has got to play, mate, because he complements Rodri so well. So probably probably it'll be Bernardo and Foden, won't it? Playing wide of Haaland then. Yeah. And what does he yeah. do at the back? Does he does he bring a Diaz back in or is a Canyon yeah. Stones I would, and Walker? I would, you know, I, I would apply Diaz. Yeah. Yeah. For me, the, the, our our best back four is Ake, Diaz, Stones, and Walker. Even yeah. though even though Akanji plays very very well, I still feel that is our tried and our tried and tested back four where they can rely and it's important as well because I've, I, I always say it when Diaz is on the right side of the centre backs he's not as effective when he's a couple of yards on the left when he's got Stones here I think Stones makes him play better and and Diaz makes Stones play better because they've got that understanding Joe, yeah. Joe I don't know if anyone else has picked up on this but Arsenal remind me of kind of where we were a few seasons ago like they're a lot of their players are quite small. You know, they haven't got the height that City now have. So would you not bring a Kanji in, you know, and have a, a you know, because the set plays-wise, we've been doing really quite well on. Just just a thought. Yeah, no, yeah. I think that's, um, especially when they're playing, not playing party and some of those players as much, you were a bit bigger, a bit more physical. Um, I think on that Diaz and Kanji thing, I, I just think, I, I don't know if it's me, I, I thought, say, Akanji, you know, has played really well this season and it's mm -hmm. hard to leave him out. But I think Stones is a bit better with Diaz than with Akanji. I, that pushing, whether Stones yeah. is a bit less free with Akanji because Akanji is a bit more attacking and passes a bit better. Yeah. Do you but think it just seems Stones spends half the game not even standing next to Akanji. So, I don't know. I look at, I look yeah. at it and I say, like, it's a good problem to have because you've got... Diaz is always going to be the leader at the back, but Akanji's been yeah. the most informed defender we've had all season. I'd, I'd be willing to give him if if we're you know they usually have nominations for Player of the Month with City. He's definitely yeah. in my nominations for Player of the Season. You know so think no what he's done, and 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 if we put it in a scenario where where you know in the second leg against Real Madrid and we're desperately holding on to like maybe like a, a three two aggregate score or something like that, and you need a little bit extra defensive solidity at the back. Whether it's Ruben coming in or whether it's a Kanji coming in by whatever the match day selection was, I tell you what, that yeah. fills me with a lot of confidence. Do you not feel, though, Pat, there's a case for everybody to start because yeah. that, that's the quality. So yeah. if, if if somebody re you know gets rested, it's <laughs> you can't complain somebody coming in because they deserve it. That that's that's the quality of the squad. So yeah. it, it's it, it's not weakening the squad. The squad or the starting eleven, whoever starts, really. I mm. think it's the preference in it, or our systems, or the stances. You know, on mm. our stream, different keys for different locks. Yeah, I think the case yeah. now is is that we don't have a starting eleven. More like we've got a starting provisional fourteen or fifteen because mm -hmm. you can't play that eleven every three days now for the remaining two months. You you just can't do it. But there are certain players that are going to play certain roles at certain times against certain opposition. And that's why it's going to be yeah. important to keep that prime sort of 14 or 15 minute squad ready to go and play all those matches. Yeah. And that's the beauty. If we if we are fully fit and we play that team, then you know, we play the team that Andy and I talked about, then we would have um Doku, Nunes, Alvarez, mm -hmm. uh, you know, Nunes, Gradiol, mm -hmm. McKenji. We'd have you know, I'll probably miss someone, but that's yeah. Six really good players. I just, I just want the yeah, well, for the Arsenal. Bench. I just want the best midfield that's not only going to be, you know, play the best possession-based football, but is also going to suffocate the life out of Odegaard and Rice. Because I think if we're able to keep them, keep them quiet in the game, we're halfway there to a victory. Kovacic is the man to do that, mate. Yeah. And is is there a player that is on drop ball at the moment in this squad? And <laughs> um, yes, yeah, Phil. Well, I would say Kanji. Rodri, I think Stones is undroppable because he's so yeah. central to the way we play. I, I think, think Rodri is undroppable. Kanji is a mention based on form. Yeah. I think Kovacic Jack, is undroppable Jack, at the minute. Jack, Jack if, he's fit, if he's fit, has to play. Yeah. It's going to yeah. take Jack a while to get fit, though, because 
Jack hasn't got fully match fit all season. So I think the problem with Jack is he's probably never got fully match fit in eight months. And so I suspect it's going to take Jack mm-hmm. quite a few weeks to be back up to speed. Yeah. So I, I think, think we're we'll going to have to we'll see Madrid. Jack back for Real Madrid yeah, because he won't have... start against Aston Villa. Pep doesn't like yeah. playing him against Aston Villa, regardless of whether he's ready or not. I think yeah. I think Jack will want to have another battle against Carvajal on that left-hand side again. Because it I was a fantastic may battle over 180 home. minutes last season. Yeah. And I, well, think, I, I, think, think may, I think he wants to do it I think it, it may be at home. I think it may be at home. I think we may not be fully ready for him 90 minutes. I, do you think uh, it's another I, case I of eight, us not giving too much away when we go to the Bernabeu again? Eight, well, well, I think eight months without playing, without getting match fit, it's going to take him a fair bit of time. Well, I think hmm. it could take a month for him to be back. Even yeah. though our and tried and trusted left side is Aki and Grealish, but I think I do think he'll put Nunes there and bring. I, I do think Jack will get minutes against Arsenal, but I can't. I can't see him starting. So I think the so concerns is there. Do you think you're playing the left then? Yeah, Nunes on the Phil. left. Mate. Oh, no, no, be no, Phil. No, be Phil. No, 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 no. no. No be I, I don't It'll see how you Phil. can't ha, how you could not have Foden in this team. Foden be Phil. Foden will play the left and, and Brett Bernardo will play on the right. Yeah, Isn't but, there a is Bob? Listen, it, for, for, I, I, I think right, Phil. Like, well, for, for me, right, the kids ready. It, it's going to be so important because, like, like we said, we, you've got Odegaard. You've got Rice. So Nunes, like or oh, not, Alan Nunes will trap back more efficiently as well as get up whereas Doku doesn't and that is going to be which, crucial it'll be really good all off the midfield but if you're playing cover and Rodri if you play Nunes you've either got to drop Bernardo KDB or Foden which one would you drop because I can't see Pep dropping one of those three I don't drop any or you I, could play 12 you play 12 <laughs> Oh, you could have them all at the same age, same size, and have everyone going on a nice day. Let's all smile for Martin. Let's all smile for Martin. I do apologise. My Wi-Fi just died of death. I don't know why. I will try and get it sorted out. Thank you so much, Natural Talent, for your £5 donation. Really, really appreciate it, mate. Great, great stream, guys. Sounds like City not real football, like everyone says we are. But we are, according to Rich... But Rich is going to stand outside of his mouth. Oh, oh, he's so uh, nice out. Oh, the, God, the, God, exact, thank you. the exact opposite. I think we're absolutely fine. We've done nothing wrong. Don't worry. Rich and will be telling me about the sports washing of, of Abu Dhabi and how it's morally wrong in a moment. Uh, Mark Fogg, thank exact, you for your exact, gift membership. Exact opposite. I want all the sports. What I want everyone to spend what they can. Anyway, we're talking about the Arsenal team, Martin. Who well, hang on, I need to get super chats because people have paid oh, money okay. to disagree with you. Um, yeah. Thank you, Matt Fogg. You are a legend. Well done to the people who've got it. And Ed, thank you so much. Golf isn't this isn't because some places don't even let you in the door. Alan. Yeah, it's all about that. <laughs> anyway. Where was that? Blacklist from Royal Melbourne, we're, Kingston. Well, we're talking about whether Nunes or Bob can <laughs> get into the side for Arsenal. Right, before we move on, because I just want to state, because I agree with Rich, FFP is anti competitive 100%, but it's not a new rule. It's been here for over 10 years. My issue is why everyone's suddenly acting like it's a brand new rule and suddenly just coming to effect it came in in 2013 don't bitch I'm, about it I'm 10 years not, down the road i'm just hoping the premier league is no more within the next two years and then someone else takes it over so because i can't stand <laughs> people, I'm rich simple. is getting uh, alan it's getting uk government the, the sort of been pushed through in the government mate mate, the, mate I, 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 I want the premier league get to be get rid of the premier league and start again. i agree so, mate. The, the current UK government will act in the interest of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and the United States. Yeah, Arabia. absolutely. Well, let's oh, face it. Heathrow Airport's just been bought by the Saudis, hasn't it? So Liverpool, Arsenal and uh, Man United are banned from travelling from there now. That's good. Anyway, so, yes, I do agree. <laughs> it is unfair. But I don't have... But at the end of the day, like I said earlier on, shape man, Caldoon said, people in glass houses don't throw stones. 
Hand gives they him come down the road. Uh, like John Crow, John Stones. It's got to be fair and reasonable for everybody. Yeah, because life's fair, isn't it, Alan? That's why you live yeah. in a bigger house than somebody else. Yes. It's so fair. It's for a level playing field. Is that right, Rich? Yeah, Alan's a true capitalist, Martin. So you'll be, you'll be. Um... I don't know why Alan's saying that. He votes conservative. There's no fair about conservative. <laughs> <laughs> I reform now. I reform. I re I reform now. <laughs> no. Here they go. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on what anyway, your yeah, reform is. Right, you re on. reformed or deformed? <laughs> <laughs> Both. Right, people are saying no, about Oscar guys. Bob. I mean, we're way early on the Arsenal stuff, but Oscar Bob, no chance playing against Arsenal for me. No, no, bench, bench. He does, and he does very well from the bench. To be fair, yeah, I don't think Oscar Bob will even come off the bench against Arsenal. I think he'll just be sat there and his. It depends, if it depends if we get beat, mate. Oscar Bob might be a shout, might be a shout to play if uh what was it Luton? We've got Luton coming up in a couple of weeks. Yeah. Does yeah. anyone 3 p.m. 3 p.m. kick off on a Saturday? I can't remember the last time we had a 3 p.m. this late in the season. Quick question for you all, right? Because I kind of when I look at our midfield and attack in the six places, and I I kind of think I'd be interested in your thoughts that in any big game, Bernardo Foden, De Bruyne, Haaland. And Rodri starts. So that's five places. So there's only ever in a big game one injuries aside, one place up for grabs, and it could be cover if we're going to be defensive. It could be Docker if we're going to be attacking. It could be Nunes if he needs a game. But generally, and Jack if he's fit might make it six out of six. Jack but is fit. Just, right? well, where's this Jack yeah. not fit come from? No, 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 no. Match Jack fit. fit, but he hasn't been match fit in eight months. He's not been match fit since May last year. So one he, thing I can tell you, he's in a very. Good he's place. just got injured. I got yeah, him. yeah. I think he needs to, to be battle tested before he starts a massive game. He needs some some time on the pitch, but. I just think there's five places. So we talk about Bob or Nunes, but for Arsenal, I suspect Kovacic. Although maybe after his horror show at the Emirates, he, you know, they might might think Ooh, he's that's the play. question I wanted to ask everyone. Right here, you go. I'm going to start with you, Pat, and then Ozzy, because we're learning off for Rich tonight. Um, oh, oh, yeah. my voice is going. So it's a good idea. Um, do you know Rich had the cheek to tell me he only had 45 minutes earlier on? I don't know where all this is going to jump to. You know where his priorities lie. He did remind me. I have, I have got the minutes. WhatsApp yeah. chat yeah. to prove that. He suddenly found an extra <laughs> hour from somewhere. <laughs> anyway, right. If you want to start Kovacic against Arsenal with Rodra, yeah, because you can't have Grealish. Can't have Bernardo, can't have KDB, I'm folding then. Someone has to go out. And if you're playing Kovacic in the midfield, you won't get folded in the midfield either. Folding the player the left or right? Starting with Pat Allen. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. I've asked this loads of people and everyone comes back with the exact same... Ooh. No, because then if you if you're playing if you're playing cover as well, then obviously John if John Stones is playing, then there's just more bodies cram the midfield in attack, and then you got more toes treading on each other as well too, because you'll have Foden and KDB as well. So it's yeah, I think as much as I hate to say, it may have to you may have to drop Kovacic. and I hate to say it because I, th I look at it now and I think he's. He's figured it out. He knows what, what he's wrong agree, with. What, and who plays on the left then for you? Well, if he's fit, Jack Grealish. But apart from that, we may... Grealish won't be starting, mate. No. So no cover. Oz, no cover. where are you? Um, as much as I, I kind of agree with Pat, um, it's a shame that cover has to be dropped because it Let's does see. seem that he's found his place now. Um, he's found the rhythm of the, of the team. But I think, you know, we're all remembering just one game that he's, he's suddenly kind of, you know, come on the field and, and, and got us out of a bit of a hole. Um, so for me, even though he, 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 he was immense in that game, I think you've really got to think it doesn't start. 
over the others. I think with with everyone fit, I think you stick with the team that you know we all feel that that should start. That's my opinion. Okay, Alan. The one thing that we've got to do against Arsenal is, is win the ball and keep the ball. And and that is the number one thing for and, and we're playing Arsenal, they'll flood the midfield. They, they, well they play a false nine for starters, so they have an extra man in midfield. I think cover has got to play. I really do. And if he has to drop someone, I think Foden will play on the left. Yeah. I don't think Jack will play. Um, it'd be on, might be on the bench because I don't think he's hundred percent. I'd like, I'd love Jack. Ideally, if he was fit, I would play him, but I don't think he's hundred percent. Um, I think that um, Bernardo, for me, needs to play because he can fill both a number of roles in a, within a game, and he comes back and does the work that you need to do when you're defensive, especially when if they get the ball, he will graft and try and get the ball back. Um, I just think he'll go for a solid, a solid team with KDB in the middle, Cover, Rodri, um, in mid, in midfield, and, and play it that way. I think he'll get. He, he will try to have a, a team that keeps the ball. Bernardo being on the right, who will also float into midfield when he needs to, when we're when we're out of possession. I just think he'll play a solid, a solid team. So you've got folded on the left, basically. Yeah, yeah. He could right. put so this is an away game, though. Yeah, but mate, he's got he's got to keep the ball. If he, if, if it allows Arsenal the ball, they'll beat us. Uh, I think you are over egging Arsenal. You know, they don't get me wrong. They're they playing well, mate. They're playing well. They are playing well, they're, but they're playing the best time, football think... this season. Anyone's playing? Yeah. yeah. That, that may be the case, but we're playing at home. It should be them dancing to our tune, not us dancing to theirs. Well, I think you might, you might the way they've been playing this season, mate. They're yeah. a fucking good side, and that happens by winning yeah, midfield. Good side. And, yeah. and I think, I think, I you suffocate Rice and Odegaard, what, you're halfway there. Yeah, I mean, that's I what mean, that's what I mean, Alan's I mean, calling I mean, for. We win the midfield, we win the game, and I think, you know, I tend to agree with Andy and Alan that cover will help us win the midfield. We lost the midfield at Anfield until Cover came on. Correct. Go on then, Rich. Sorry, is, is that yours? Yeah, and no, I think Bernardo, Faden, Haaland up front, Cover, Rodri, uh, De Bruyne in midfield. Yeah. Okay. Keep, the, then, keep the ball. Keep the ball. How come nobody's mentioned Alvarez? Because he's now at the... <laughs> He's on the bench. He's, he's back to super sub Alvarez like yeah. this time last season. Right. I'm, I'm, he's I'm a, a striker sub. I'm going to shock you here. He's going to throw Alvarez in. I know he is. I can no, see not. it. And no, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm not. Can't take Holland away. Is that your microwave? No, I'm not. One of my mugs is done. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should. I think we should play Gary Meg in the midfield. Yeah. Take Mego back. Hot off the press. Um, hey, hey, Andy, your mug might be done, but it wasn't as much as Martin's before when he had when he's like computer froze. Oh yeah. Is that, is yeah. that one of your Chris Wood mugs? Uh, that one. Yeah, was, uh, the Chris Wood mug? Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll do it live on air. What do you reckon it is? Man United. Not not the answer to the question I asked. Right, I look at that. Oh, it's a picture of Rich and Alan. So, anyway, <laughs> I thought I thought I saw. I'll put you have to do Wardorf and start the mug now. Which right. one's Sylvester and which one's Tweety <laughs> Pies? Well, I want to know. Rodri, <clears throat> Kovacic, KDB, Foden. Covers what? Hey, covers shit. That's a bit Kovacic. Harsh. So, Kovacic, Foden, KDB. It's got to be Rodri, Kovacic, KDB, Foden, Bernardo. So the bo the bottom row is aligned. The old the old people are all aligned. Oh, I love that. I'm a youngster. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I'll take. <laughs> 
What do you mean? That, you mean Rich? Rich, do you mean me, you, and Alan? <laughs> yeah, the wisdom has all gone for cover. It's the first time Alan's, uh, Alan's ever been called wisdom. Joke is Oh, we have, oh, we've, got oh, to win, we've got to win that midfield battle. Yeah, midfield yeah, is yeah. crucial in this game. Crucial. I, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I disagree with you. I, I, I do disagree with Ozzy in this case. I think Arsenal are playing electric, and you've got to stop Odegaard and Rice. If you don't, we are. Uh, and I've said this a thousand times. I, I do think City will beat Arsenal. I do think we'll beat them, but I'm not worried about their striker. Strikers are crap. Mm -hmm. It's the wide men in the midfield. They play, they play, they play, they play uh, false nine, mate. I think the worst thing that can happen for Arsenal is if we score in the first 15, 20 minutes, I think they're... I, I see, I even think Arsenal will be out of the Liverpool game. They're better than Liverpool. I've got no doubt they're better than Liverpool, but you know, yeah, we're obviously, we're home. We're home, and that makes a difference. But where, still, yeah, look, I, difference? I think we'll win the league. Yeah. I, I think we'll win two yeah. trophies. I'm not on the treble joint yet. The, the treble joint's not on yet for me. Yeah. I'm not doing that at the moment. It's top of the way. You're worried about Chelsea. Me. I, 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 I'm, I yeah. don't know. Because the only reason I think I think City have to beat Arsenal for one simple reason. If they go, if they allow Arsenal and Liverpool to go four points clear. Game's over. You've not just got one team that you're hoping to drop points for. Two teams you're hoping to drop. But on the other side of it, if City beat Arsenal, I think Arsenal are out of the title race. Because for the same problem, you've got two very good teams above you that, yeah, you've both got to drop points somewhere. You're hoping two teams start being inconsistent, not just one. If City, whoever is, whoever is second after that Arsenal game, for me, becomes a two-horse race because that they will become laser-focused on first and vice versa. The third team, I think, will just drift away, sadly. I'm not, I'm not worried about either Liverpool or Arsenal. Uh, I know you've got to go, and uh, thank you for joining us. Do you want to tell everyone about your show this evening? Yeah, it was shit. Don't bother tuning in. <laughs> Martin was on it. <laughs> but he left with 20 minutes to go. No, no it, the, sh the show we did earlier, Pat was on. Everybody was invited, by the way. Uh, Alan was on, Pat was on, Martin was on. And we also had Dante from the 1894 group. And we were just discussing things like... Um, the way you're yeah. doing things, ticketing and stuff like that. It, it's not all boring and doom and gloom. If you watch it, you'll get what it get what it was about. So if you want to, it's it's over there. Yeah, and you will be part of Saturday stream, won't you, Ander? I am. It's going to be a a, li a live. Um... Is it? Did you say you want me to do stuff like that? It's going to be yeah, a live yeah. ninety three twenty yeah. podcast, not a live strip tease. Oh, all right, right. right. Andy and Andy, can you, can you launch your, uh, Andy's helping you launch me put your together a quiz for Saturday yeah. for the uh, first second prize and the treble medal as well. Um, yeah. And I'll I'll be doing some free beers and cheap giveaways. All proceeds will go to the charity. Oh, and Matt, Andy, Fogg, you, you can launch your Chris Wood range. Then Pat and I will come on and uh, help. I will. That yes, I will launch. Money. Yeah, I will launch my wood range for you. Matt Fogg, thank you for that super chat. You are a legend. Thank you so, so much, mate. Leave some money for yourself, though. Great debate, guys. Don't forget to support the marathon stream. Saturday, Mark, Saturday. But appreciate that. You are a legend. Thank you. And everyone who's gifted tonight, you are legends. Uh, but, yeah, next 20 podcast. Go and get them to 2K. Cheers, mate. Adios. Have a great uh, rest of the Alan's show, going right? as well. Yeah. So bye, Alan. I've got a drop too. See you. I'll leave you. I'll leave you. Oh, this, this dog dropped we've got the to, yeah. We've all got to go off for our cocoa and our... The, the, the arse has dropped out. <laughs> <laughs> your your arse well, has dropped Alan's, out. Alan's just gone. Hang on. Well, what's that, Rich? You're leaving to go and make sure all your neighbours have got the fairest wages. Coco, <laughs> uh, believe me, it's not, not... You don't need to worry about that, Martin. Oh, just just a quick question. In your household, do you all spend the same amount of money on each other at Christmas as well? 
No, kids get far more. That's not unfair. That's very unfair, that rich. No, but they, I could spend more on myself or my wife, but I choose not to. I'm free to choose. It's not very moral high ground of you, that we, rich, that your wife it's... loses out no. because of your children. No, no, we, we, we put the kids first. We don't really bother with presents for ourselves. Or look after the kids. Oh. We need to look oh, after the little like towns, the world. And forest of this world. No, I, I like, like a fair world. world. There's a difference between fair no, and freedom of opportunity and Rich, freedom of outcome. I hope you have a lot of fun still on that mole high ground on your own. Ah, it's brilliant. Believe me. <laughs> He's never getting a job at City, is he? <laughs> Harlan just has just shut down Ellington. He said, I feel good. It's not true that I abandoned training. Harlan said, I don't know who wrote this. I'm ready to play. I'm sure people just get bored during internationals. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course I do. Journalists have got nothing else to do apart from right how crap Gareth Southgate is and, and who's got injured. I don't know why, but I get more hyped up over transfer rumours when they're not in the international break. Just for the simple fact that I consider them in international break just to be column inches that slow news day. Well, City have been linked with another right winger today. It's like the 15th yeah. right winger. We're, are we just buying all right wingers? No, it's Why just not? what I mean. It's uh, Cover gives us a bit of grit. He's quite scared. See, I just think Cover gives us that stability because it allows Rodri to go and do that Gundogan role. It does. I, 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 you know, I, I agree with your point. I just, I don't want City to go out there and and, and dance to Arsenal's tune. You know, it, we're at home and we should be playing. Oh, no, no, I agree with that, Ozzy. Yeah, and more you, you, you're, you, I get you, you don't want us to show them any sort of weakness. You want us to go out and absolutely spank them on their little bottom. I understand yeah. that and I agree with you, and I hope we do because personally, you know, I'd rather beat them 4 0 than 1 0 because I want to lay down a mark for the rest of the Premier League mm. that, yeah. you know, City are here and we're, we're off. Um, it's funny to me, the treble does seem a bit far, but do you know what? We landed into it last season and we weren't playing great at the time because this, yeah. this is another fallacy that I've, I've talked about on Twitter this week. Of or X, sorry, um, people, people have suddenly presumed that the way we played against Bayern Munich and Real Madrid was the way we were playing for six months, and we weren't doing that. It was this time last year that we just upped and we went. So I, I do think there's this false narrative that we were playing that really extensive football for like most of last season and we just weren't. We were there was many a game we were limping through. Yeah, but I think we've we've said it before though, haven't we, Martin, that City, you know gets this point of the season and you know we the players are, are, are kept fit generally well than than any other team you know you look at the the injury list of most of the teams and it's it's shocking you know and yet we've yeah. got one of the smallest squads and you know Pep is he's always managing the team really well at this point of the season because he knows this is the crunch time this is where you know Championships are won. So, if any any team, any manager is able to to go out there on on next weekend and, and absolutely, you know, show Arsenal who are the king of this league. Um, because for me, as much as Arsenal are the the team that are in form, I just the mentality. I think they've still got to learn. I think they learnt some lessons last season, but I have seen still the arrogance, the petulance of when it doesn't go quite their way. Um, oh, I do think the arrogance is there because apparently they were going to slap Porto 5-0 and now they're going to slap Bayern Munich 4-0. And I'll be honest with you, I, I do think, part, I think we discussed this as well, haven't we, privately? I do think some of the... I think I think Arsenal will get more credit if some of their fans would calm down. Because yep. I don't know about you, but I get a little bit, I don't want to give Arsenal as much credit 
because the fans are just so arrogant. Mm. It seems to be a certain um, niche or, or generation because anybody yeah. who seems to be under the age of 25, the the arrogance is just insane. And and you see like those, those the, the fan channels who are a bit more older or a little bit more sensible who just spend most of their time just absolutely grilling these guys. And to be honest with you, it is justified. Because I look at some of this and I was like, I pray that we don't have a young fan base that turns into these. Like, because some of the things that they try to justify why Arsenal are doing a better job than other clubs or why it's history making what what they're doing right now and things like that. It's just it, it's it, it is it is literally just looking before you're leaping and things like that. And and then and then and then to have the nerve that you know if if they, they try to hype themselves up by saying, Yeah, we're gonna batter this Bayern Munich side while keeping in mind that, you know, Bayern's still been consistently the champions, in the Champions League for years and years, and this is the first time Arsenal's back in, what, seven or eight years, and you suddenly expect to think that you can just go against the big dogs like that? It's like, it took us the best part of 10 years of consistently just trying to get better and better in this competition before we were able to go toe-to-toe with Bayern Munich and dominate them in, in last season. Yeah. So you just you gotta be you gotta, you gotta be careful. You, you, gotta, you gotta have some sort of humbleness with you. And the problem is they're so deep they're so deep now into this sort of this arrogance that the second it doesn't go wrong, they're pointing the finger at something else or something that's almost completely irrelevant to, to, to the, to the performance on the, on the field. There's a fine line between arrogance and confidence. And this is the problem. And they that walk over that. They walk over that line way too I easily. don't think city fans have ever gone over into the arrogance road, but I find a lot of city fans a little bit of the opposite. We tend to go down the, Oh, we might not get this this season. You know, we go the other way. Yeah, true, Ozzy. City artists will always bring them back a little bit. I even even find that with some, and I think this is where where you're like, you you know this, Ozzy. You know, we're we're not 5-0 up at half time, and there's a meltdown, and it's like, relax. (laughs) Chill yourselves. But just just going back to what something you said before where, you know, we were talking about, like, you know, Ma- the, like we didn't really know where we were going this season until certain something last season until something sort of clicked for the team. But look, I'm going to draw some interesting parallels for you. And it's funny because even though it's only a year ago, it feels like, you know, you lose track of the days or you feel like it feels like a lot longer than what it was. Would you say, I think our season really kicked in, our treble season really kicked into gear after we beat Liverpool at home 4 1. I would say probably that's when it really started to click. Because after that, I don't think we really lost the game. Can apart from the draws, the apart chat. from the away draws in the Champions League. Just need to super chat because Max had it again. Mark, naughty boy. You don't need to give give us two quid for a men's say Saturday, mate. But thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks, Honestly. Mate. Thanks. Give a big big thumbs up and W's for uh, Matt Fogg. What a legend. Thank you so much, mate. Stop now. Save money for yourself. It's lovely, but come on. Um, make sure you're all right. I, 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 we, we love it, and it's but you know it's not needed. It's not like it's not something we, we ask for. It's so appreciated. But I want thank you so much, mate. It, it does it. It's astonishing the, the, the love we're getting on this channel at the moment. I can't thank you all enough. But while you're doing that, uh, by the way, has anyone seen Nunes' goal tonight? Because I'm sending it, Alan, because it was a cracker of a goal. No, I don't say it. Look no, I do it. He runs through about five players. Ooh. And Sweden, no slashes either. Yeah. No. But, yeah, I mean, go on, Ozzy. Go on, do no, 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 sorry, I was I was going to say, Martin, just quickly, was I'm trying to draw parallels to last season because I said, I think, I think when you look back on it, our season really clicked into gear when we beat Liverpool 4-1 at home. Now, I'm going to draw some parallels to that, to so parallels that are happening this season. Uh, when we played Liverpool, we played them on the 31st of March, 2023. When yeah. did we play Arsenal? 31st mm-hmm. of March, 2024. Uh, it was we, we beat we beat Liverpool uh, after a uh, after an international break. What are we doing right now? International break. The last fixture we played before the international break, we dominated Burnley in a cup game. What have we just done? Yeah, dominated exactly. Newcastle in a cup game. Yeah. So. Well, you almost look at you almost look at you almost look at it now, like as if we're setting we're setting we're setting this as like a marker. The first of April on it, a Liverpool game. First of April, Liverpool game. Uh, well, see, it says first of April for me, so I'm factoring if if that's my if that's my time zone. 
Yeah, no, it's fair because I was away from the missus' birthday. I missed the Liverpool game last year. That's why they won 4 1 pack because I wasn't there. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, because you're right, because we went 4 1, then we went to Southampton, 1 4 1. Mm-hmm. Then we beat the Bayern 3 0. Then we beat Leicester 3 1. Yep. Yeah. Then we drew with Bayern, beat Sheffield United in the FA Cup 3 0. And then we smacked Arsenal 4 yeah. 1. So the template's already there. Yeah. You know what yeah, we need to no, do? And listen, I, I, I do get it. I do get it. Plus, I mean, I'm just, Ozzy, why are you haven't seen that? I'm just going to check when our, undefeat, when, our, when our unbeaten run started last season. I'm just going to work it out. Oh, I'm looking at it too. Because I got the page no, right think, up. So. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, Pat, it, it's, a, it's a great start, isn't it, really, that you know, you've know come up with there. But I think mm. the parallel is there. The blueprint is there. Yeah. And if any team can follow a, bro- a, a, a blueprint, it, it's definitely City. Yep. So, sorry, sorry right. guys, just quickly, it all was right. Tottenham away, 6th of February. Yeah. Tottenham away in the league, 6th of February, yeah, 2023. Feb, but, believe it or not, before then, our last defeat before then was Brentford. Yes. Fully enough. Yeah. Straight into the World Cup. Isn't yeah, it weird it though? Pat, we'd have took that Tottenham game out because I know it's weird. We always seem to get going in December time, December, January in roll. Mm. Which is different than the previous seasons because we always used to get going in about October. And then we'd run out of we'd run out of gas when the knockouts yeah. in the Champions League came in. But yeah. no, that was that Tottenham game because then we were, we had the mm. um charges didn't we? which they knew about on that night. They knew yeah. the Sunday what was because they did have a meeting in the dressing room yeah. afterwards. Because then we played Villa um, afterwards and Villa, yeah, that was... Yeah, thank you. So, no, no I, I get it. And I just... Um, see, this was it. Johan uh, Bakayoko. Hmm. People have talked. And then there was that other Bayern Munich winger we got linked with today. Who was it? Hmm. Anyway, no, I mean, if anyone... Someone did ask me about INTK. Um, I did get told the other day... Like the reason Kimmich could be on the cards, well, I think he's always been on the cards, is it looks like Bayern are going to put all their money into a Musiala contract agreement. And you could also probably say too that if Musiala, oh, sorry, if Kimmich hasn't extended by now, then Liverpool's going to probably want to try. Sorry, Bayern Munich's going to want to try and get some money out of that. They don't want him go going for a free in a year's time. I, I know you're all going to think I'm mad, but I don't think Kimmich is going to re-sign with anybody. I think the guy wants out of Bayern. Uh, I still I still think if, if Tuchel is going, I still think he stays. Depends I, who I, I get, maybe. I, DC, get ready. I think our dream will come true. <laughs> our dream will be there. I have a dream of Joshua Kimmich. I'm not He's doing that. Don't think about Messi. Do you, if I, do you see no, a preseason no, 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 and no, the no, news no, comes no, out no, with no, Simon no. Kimmich? God, yeah. she's going to be said the same thing more than happy. Buddy, <laughs> buddy Duck, take care, mate. See you sat there. Um, before we leave, we are going to wrap up in the next five. Um, I will go through some uh, the running guard, well, running guard, because I've had to change a few things because we were going to get shows on, but. One or two people are away. So because it's international break, some are going away. So we are, I was going to get a big Steve show, but he's going to the England game to watch Brazil and LB's away for the weekend. So we are going to get people on. There will be panels, but it's just going to become as we go. I think Jay's coming on. Jay, she say that there will be people on. Like 9320 podcast, you're going to see Ozzy Pat and, and, uh, and Rich. You know, but once Rich comes off his moral high ground, Rich will be here throughout the day as well. I'm hoping to get Vader on, uh, Carl at some point, Pat from True City Fan. I'm hoping, I'm going to send links to everyone so they can come and go as they please. Um, the only constant will be moi. Apart from the 9320 podcast when I'm going to disappear for an hour and go and have some food. But one thing I will tell you, and I'm going to, there will, I have spoke with Alzheimer's Society. There's going to be promo videos going up from them. 
Plus, I am recording this evening. I'm going to record my own personal journey through Alzheimer's and why this is being done. So, um, I, I would, they will say to everyone now, I cannot promise I will not get emotional on Saturday. Um, I wish that I could say, no, I'll be strong as an ox. And here we go. I wear me out of my sleeve. It's a personal thing for me. And, it, and there's going to be a lot of sharing of phone numbers. And if you need help, ring, ring. it's all about reaching out and letting people know. Because I know for a fact that there's people in this world that are suffering or have got a loved one suffering with it. And they want to keep quiet about it. We will give you the help and the 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 road to go down to where you can get that help. You don't have to make it public, but you can. You will have the phone numbers and websites and the links to where you can go. Um, I've set a very modest cap, which is going to sound mad to people. Um, I still think it's high. Set a target because I had to give Alzheimer's Society a target. Um, a £250 English sterling. Um, hopefully we reach that. Like I said, YouTube will take some of it. I, we will, or I will put that back into the pot. Um, Alzheimer's Society have given me a registration number as well um, and their bank details. And it will take about two or three weeks. The, the money just needs to filter through. You don't just get the money there and then. But the payment will be made and we will show you the payment live on air. We'll show you, I'll show you the correspondent that the payment's gone to where it's gone. Yep. And there'll be a quiz as well where we're going to give away £50 gift voucher, £20, £25 gift voucher for the city store and um, the trouble winning medal as well. Plus, we'll, we're also going to play a little bit of FIFA. You're not playing, are you, Martin? Yeah. Oh, God. What do you mean I'm not playing? Yeah, damn right I'm playing. I've just got to figure out how I get it from there to here. All Let right, me well, think of that We can... Well, not the really FC24. Uh, might even do a little bit of career mode as well as better. If you... We're also, just to let you know, we're going to have a fans forum. Uh, but I'm going to stick a link in at some point um, of the day where you can come on and give your views. You don't have to be on camera. You can be off camera, but you will need some form of thing. Um, and come and just chat. We can chat about anything you want, transfers, anything. Not anyway, which one of ours? So there you go. Anything you gentlemen want to add before we go? Thank you very much, mate. All the way from Tanzania. Thank you so much. You talk about pre-season, or do you want to save that for Saturday? No, I don't want to rant. I've done enough ranting tonight. I'm not ranting. <laughs> I, I am still going to pre-season. Whether I'm now going to the game, I don't know. Yeah. Because Pat has Should also we... seen the prices. Yeah, from what we've heard, they're Me talking about the ticket in the stadium. We might be. They're talking about ticket prices be being somewhere between three hundred to five hundred US dollars. Crazy. Yeah. You're talking about yeah. Two hundred. Yeah, yeah. From what we've heard. Yeah. Um, I'd just like to say uh, a big kind of um, a big thank you to Martin because he's put a lot of effort into Saturday stream. Um, and everyone watching, you know, please, you know, just get to that target because uh, it is a close and difficult subject for Martin. Um, he's had a lot to go through of late, and um, you know, we all want to see him get to his target and beat it, to be honest. So, uh, big up, Martin. Uh, what you're doing is fantastic, um, and it takes a lot of effort. So, yeah. Nope. Appreciate that. And it's yeah, it's like I said, your channel. Um, I know me, Ozzy Rich, Pat, we run it, but it's your channel. And we want it to grow and we want it to think. That's why we're doing everything that we can. But uh, by the way, 
Eltec, Naughty Boy, thank you so much for your 999. Um, as fan, your space is a peace of mind. Please do more if you can. I will try to do more spaces. Um, there won't be anything on Sunday. I'm warning, warning people right now. Sunday, I sleep. I sleep on Sunday. So, yeah. Um, no. So, yeah, we will be live 12 p.m. Saturday. Um, the layouts will be very different. The overlay is going to be, it's going to be everything you've seen in the corner. The Mancunian way, Alzheimer's mm. site, that will be in the corner. Thumbnail will be different. The overlays will be different. Everything is going to be very charity stream orientated. It will kick off from 12 p.m. I'll have a nice six pack of something tasty. We might Doesn't even matter. do a couple Doesn't of bloody need it. ones. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll go as we go along, but we'll, I will try and keep you as entertained as I possibly can. I promise you, we will try and keep you entertained. One thing I want to tell you, I am doing, which I'm, I'm just confirming dates. Anyone who Has anyone watched Hot Ones on City Extra? Anyone? With Jordan, no, 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 no. not necessarily. I haven't had a chance to yet. No. no, anyone in the in the chat watch hot ones on City Extra? Um, there may be a new episode out soon. Well, it depends when we're filming it. I don't know. Um, yeah, I think I'm going on to um to do the hot ones. And you I don't think have a hot one. Food. And then. Are you a hot one? Is that what you want to say? No, I'm not. No, that's that's Whoa. when he's standing outside. That's when he's standing outside the chippy. Ah, I've got hot one for you. No, no, <laughs> no. I thought um, that's when he had a kebab. A kebab. I'm a kebab. A kebab. Mexican for me. I'm just sticking a, a redirect on for uh, never a foul. Uh, for Cass and the gang, big up Martin. We're all here, pal. No, appreciate that. Uh, I blame Alan and Rich making you ramp, Martin. No, listen, I, I understand. Listen, I get Rich's point. This is the point I understand, Rich. I love it. But the trouble is, I would love to live in a world where we're all on the top of a hill singing Come by Yar and all holding hands. But it's not the case. The point I'm making is Caldoon Al Mubarak said this two years ago. Oh, a year ago, was it, that people in glass houses shouldn't throw stones? And 12 months down the line, we're now getting all the failures of FFP. So maybe Caldoon knew something. But apparently I've got to feel sorry for them when nine of these clubs wanted to kick us out of the league and out of Europe. I didn't hear anyone having sympathy for us. So why we got to have sympathy for them? I understand their predicament, and I will, I agree the rules are unfair. But while I go on other shows, and everyone else goes on other shows, and all we hear is cheats one one five, we don't recognise your treble. Don't work like that. Don't work like that, guys. Planning to go. Nate, to I hope to see you there. I'll be there. There you go. And I hope to see you target. there. Listen, if we get to the target, I'll be up there. Honestly, Lena. Um, spot on, Pat. Well said, Ozzy. Totally agree, Martin. The top bloke. Please support the charity. Thank you so much. Uh, he's watch England versus Brazil. Uh, I'd rather watch paint dry, Cade. Yeah. If, if it gets desperate, we might put it on. Uh, honestly, we'll do something. I've seen it with oil. Uh, Ollie, Ollie. Ollie, hot ones, yeah, Ollie. That's it. Ollie did it, so I'm I'm doing it. I think we're recording it next week. I think I need to double check with Jordan. Yeah, it's class. It won't be with me. What doing it? I'll fail level one. Surely you I don't do spicy food. Garlic bread spicy for me. Uh, Martin is a hot one. Don't get your eyes checked. Um, some hot ones on Babe Station. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Alan? 
Alec no, Johnson. that's the Caps Lock merch and Alec Johnson. <laughs> Thank you, DC. Do a footy challenge now. Got a bad back. Don't go near the chip shop, Martin. It's chili or true powder. No sympathy. No sympathy for what? Oh, doing the challenge, yeah. Well said, Mike. Thank you. I like what you like. Uh, eye for an eye in it. I know. Listen, uh, no sympathy for all the others than give means. Right. Anyway, thank you, gentlemen, for joining us. Pat, Ozza, nice to have you back. See you in another six months, Ozza. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I have to move house. Yeah. Oh, what are your Wi-Fi? Martin, I'll right see you in now? 36 hours, Ozzy. I'll see you in 36 days. <laughs> yeah. Your Wi-Fi is good. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, obviously Ozzy's moved into his house now. Looks great, doesn't it? You like it? Love what you've done with the place. Yeah, yeah. Didn't, didn't know you moved Brilliant. into the eight yard. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mine. I'll take over your spot. <laughs> Crow, mate. Ozzy's making his monthly appearances. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, <laughs> don't worry, you can watch it, Matt. You can watch mine and Richard have an argument earlier on. Everyone's saying congrats to you, Ozzy, and lovely to have your back, says Michael Fina. But yeah, thank you Thanks, all for mate. joining us. We'll be back 12 p.m. Um, Saturday with the Toll Charity Stream. Um, one thing I will say, I'm going to be plugging it out tomorrow night because I've not got things quite set up yet. But tomorrow night, the promo video. And um, all the links are going to be all over social media. Ozzy's going to put them all over Instagram and Facebook. Please, can you all share them around? Um, so if you do, if you are on X and you follow us at Horsey Sitter, please get it shared around. I will get because I'm going to set it up tomorrow night. Um, once I do it, I'll get it onto onto Twitter, and Ozzy will share it around, and we'll just. I want to blast it everywhere. Yeah. And if you can also tag in Alzheimer's Society, please. That'd be amazing. So, yeah, take care all and we'll uh, smash them thumbs up. Uh, don't forget 9320 podcast earlier with Dante at the 1894 group. Uh, really good thing. I'm going to have a chat with them because I would like to try and help the 1894 as well. Also, I was on the Ian Cheeseman podcast recorded last night, which was what I was keeping private from everyone. That will be out over the weekend. I think Sunday, where I'm on with Mark from City Matters Group and a couple of other people, as well as Ian Cheeseman. So that will be on Spotify. Um, what's it called? Blue? Forever Blue? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Forever Blue. So that will be on on Sunday as well. Um, I think next week I'm on Dan Potts' show to go through. Prems is coming over there. Hopefully maybe Dan Potts as well. Um, there's loads going on. Loads and loads going on. You'll be bored of seeing me after the bit. Trust me. I get bored of seeing myself sometimes. Anyway, take care all and we'll see you on the next one. Well, which will be Saturday. Take care, boys. Hey, Roo. Night. Did you just go Roo Roo? Hey, Roo. Roo Roo. DC, please come and take him back. Bye. No, I'm all right, thanks. Bye.